but they're going to try and stop this at every level. They already are. One day, I will only have this and my website. So please visit TommyRobinson.online and sign up for updates. I don't want to bash you with spam. I just want to make sure when it happens, trust me, it's going to happen. That's what, exactly what this big build-up's for. I want to be able to keep on getting the truth out, telling the stories no one else will. Well, Tommy Robinson, a political prisoner for reporting on Islamic child grooming gangs working with the British aristocracy to deliver children to them. He simply reported that there was another trial happening, not the details of the trial. He was put in prison for 13 months. D notices told the media not to even report on it. Uh, major papers challenged that, and then after three days, the reporting ban was lifted. That just shows the limit of how far they'll go. There is no limit. Well, we've now learned from his manager and video producer, Kalen Robertson, that his video has been taken down. He shot a few months ago that had millions of views. Tommy Robinson, I won't be here much longer. Knowing they put him in prison for reporting on the giant pedophile rings, not just Islamic. But that's part of more radical Islamic culture. That's what fits in with the British uh, system. So YouTube has taken this video down. He has now been moved. They've asked me not to say the name of the prison to a high security 71% Muslim prison. He got there yesterday. They told him you're going to be killed. Everybody hates you. They chanted and banged on the walls that he would die last night. And now we haven't heard from him in about five hours. Coming up at the start of the next segment, I believe we're going to have it ready because I did the tape interview earlier. Uh, Kalen Robertson will break down the, the shocking specific details. Please send out the live links, Infowars.com, Newswars.com. The, the, the Twitter, the Facebook, the YouTube live feeds. This is so critical to have this be a big deal. Tommy is counting on you because they had tens of thousands demonstrate on the 9th. People climbing the walls at uh, 10 Downing Street. The globalists are scared, and now they're so crazy, they're going to send a nonviolent political prisoner to a high-security prison, 71% Muslim, and they're telling him, well, people don't like you. You're not going to last long. Hey, you're dead, slamming the door, and then opening it for general population. And we don't know what's happening. They told him last night when he got there, you're dead tomorrow. He hasn't been talked to since then. We need attention on this, ladies and gentlemen. So, I've been asked not to say the name of the prison and some other stuff, but this is critical. Here is the video they don't want you to see that they deleted of him saying his last will and testament. Here's Tommy Robinson. A few days ago, I responded to a tweet about grooming gangs. I tweeted that 90% of convictions in the UK are Muslim men. This is a fact. It's a fact even found by a Muslim organization who done research into it. This is a tweet that got me banned from Twitter for seven days. It's also true, even Majid Nawaz come out in my defense. We disagree on many things, but he come out saying how outrageous this was. Twitter started by removing my verification. Now they've limited my account. This is the build-up. They want to remove me, to silence me, to discredit me. They have tried to stop me in every possible way, from taking my finances, to imprison me, to slander me, to link me to Darren Osborne and extremism. Now they want to take away the final thing I have, my voice. I don't doubt one day they will wipe me off social media completely, forever. They will take away my right to defend myself when I'm slandered in the press. The media will be able to tell you whatever they want about me, and I'll have no way of responding. If they can do it to me, they can do it to you. When I decided to sue the police because of the harassment of my children and many other things, my lawyer, my lawyer warned me things were going to get very dirty. Now that I'm suing on multiple fronts, it's getting dirtier and dirtier. One day you won't be able to reach me on social media at all, or watch my videos on YouTube. One of the reasons I left Rebel Media is because I want to be out on the street. I want to be out there exposing the truth about what's going on in our country and also across Europe. I have major plans to start something big, a whole new platform to get the truth out to you, to the British public, people who deserve to know what's going on in our country. But they're going to try and stop this at every level. They already are. One day, I will only have this and my website. So please visit TommyRobinson.online and sign up for updates. I don't want to bash you with spam. I just want to make sure when it happens, trust me, it's going to happen. That's what, exactly what this big build-up's for. I want to be able to keep on getting the truth out, telling the stories no one else will. In 2016, the tide was on our side. We had all the power to challenge the mainstream media, to expose their lies and finally get the truth out to the people, the real truth. But they realise that, and now they're taking back the power. The entire establishment is there fighting back. They're working with social media to silence us. They can kick me off Twitter. They can delete my Facebook. They can remove my YouTube. But I won't let them stop me telling the truth. So please, if I can ask one thing from you, just share this video. Sign up. Pledge us your support. 
Just follow the links at TommyRobertson.online and I'll make sure that whatever they throw at me, the truth will always be told in this country. All right, Tommy Robinson shot that video, what, six months ago? As he was banned on Twitter, as he was being banned on Facebook, as he was being shut down, as he was being told to go to prison, he exposed the Muslim rape gangs, which he first exposed that are confirmed. Now, he has been moved from a medium security to a high security, 71% Muslim prison, has been told by the inmates and others he will be killed. So this is him preparing for extrajudicial illegal execution using the Islamic inmates. A lot of people that have criticized Islam or been against it are taken by the leftist government, put in general population, mainly Muslim prisons, even though they've got prisons that aren't Muslim, they keep them segregated in England, and they send you there to be killed. So that is basically Tommy Robinson's last statement. I won't be here much longer. Now it's happening, and YouTube won't let you see his pre-execution statement. Even in authoritarian cultures, they usually let you have a last statement before you're executed. But YouTube won't even let Tommy have a last statement before he's executed. That's it. YouTube de uh, denies Tommy Robinson uh, a pre-execution statement. Tommy Robinson denied pre-execution pre public statement. So he's being prepared for execution. Owen Schroyer, this is incredible. You've been on fire today just boiling down the history, but just like the North Korean peace and just like the economy coming back and just like fake news being worse than ever, the good, the bad, and the ugly, everything is heightened right now, Owen. And this is a declaration of war against the press, a declaration of war against the West. Uh, this is just unbelievable, the left using Islam as its sword, uh, radical Islam as its sword. Uh, Tommy Robinson needs our prayers, Owen. Well, Alex, this would be like throwing the state district attorney or the straight prosecute, state prosecuting attorney into the state penitentiary. I mean, that's what they've basically done to Tommy Robinson. I mean, imagine if you threw the DA or the, the PA of Texas into the worst prison facility in Texas where he locked up more than half the inmates. What do you think is going to happen to him? That's basically what they've done with Tommy Robinson, where he poses oh, a threat. Oh, yeah, there are people, by the way, I was told the name of the prison, there are people in this prison that he helped lock up. That's what I'm saying. So so now he's exposed by all way, these put pedophiles. That ben Garrison, put that Ben Garrison back up from a month ago. This is happening. That is if you're a TV viewer. Muslim pedophile, rapists, and murderers, globalist PC police, and they're dragging him away to a death sentence. So that's what they've done, and of course the pedophiles that Tommy Robinson exposes are going to hate him, and of course the government's going to hate that because, well, you can make your own estimations as to why the government would stand up for the pedophiles, but it's just incredible, Alex. Again, this is an act of war. This is an attack on free speech. This is an attack on national sovereignty. If I lived in Britain today, I don't see how I'd be calm. I don't see how I wouldn't be out on the streets protesting this. I don't see how I wouldn't be organizing. I mean, this is a threat to your sovereignty and your this own totally government. This totally proves that the globalists, the, the left, the UN, the EU, are with Islam as their political weapon. It's all confirmed. And now they're going to kill this man. They've told him he's dead. He's been told that, but we've been asked not to get into the details of it. This is insane. Briefly, the interview is coming up the next two segments that Owen and I will be back in the final segment. We preempted Roger Stone. He understands he'll be in studio tomorrow, the 34-hour global broadcast. Please spread the word about that. We'll have updates on Tommy, but pray for Tommy. And... Understand, InfoWars needs your support. Just like Tommy's under attack, we're under attack. Plus, we make it easy. The best water filters, the best air filters, the best non-GMO heirloom seeds. This is the last chance through the weekend, and we will end it. Free shipping on all our best-selling products, 50% off Brain Force, 50% off Super Mel Vitality and Alva Power. Oh, you got to try Alva Power. 50% off the colloidal silver. Uh, it's 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 all there. InfoWarsLife.com, the Super Blue Fluoride Free Toothpaste, uh, Bodies, it's all there, but the free shipping on top of that, we don't get a dollar fifty subsidy on every order like uh, Amazon does. When we do free shipping, it costs us like five dollars for the average package. So that is a huge deal. Sign up for auto ship on coffee and supplements and things you're gonna want to reorder. Ten percent off. Patriot points are five percent on every dollar. Th those get added onto your account. Infowarsstore.com, infowarslife.com, and we need the cavalry. Just we need to have a voice. That's why InfoWars is here. They hate our voice. They hate the fact we have speech. They just can't stand we're countering them and we're winning. But they're persecuting our leaders like Tommy, Trump, and others. Stay with us. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. Here.
If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We can't extend this free shipping sale much longer with our best-selling items at InfoWarsStore.com. In fact, we can only run it a few more days. We're also running out of some of our best-selling items like our amazing nootropic, Rainforce. It's $19.95. Leading competitors are $60 and aren't even as good. It's a great deal normally at $39.95. Rainforce, you've never tried it. This is a great opportunity. $19.95. Also, Alpha Power is 50% off. If you don't know what it's done for me and so many others for stamina, Focus, libido, it does so many things. X2, even though we're having trouble sourcing the deep earth crystals of the good halogen iodine, I am blowing out the stockpile of it we have at least for another few days at 50% off. And then after that, it's going to go back to full price until we secure more of it. Infowarslife.com, Infowarsstore.com, or 888 And thank you all for helping fund the second American global revolution.